Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me for my Try It Out Tuesday series. Today I'm trying out a brand new stamp set from Newton's Nook Designs. It's called Love and Chocolate and it's full of lots of fun sweets. And so today I'm going to be making a little sweet card. Um, I was inspired by the macaroons that are in the stamp set. I love macaroons. I tried making them once. They by no means look like this. <laughs> So um, maybe I can color them better than I made them. So I'm going to grab that macaroon stamp and then I'm going to just stamp it using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm going to I want to stamp six of them. And um, today to color them in, I'm using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. They have some really beautiful, vivid colors. And um, for the sentiment, I am going to stamp. Uh, the thing that says you're the sweetest I thought that was oh no you make life sweeter that's even cuter I'm only going to use it once I, I messed up on that first one and then I stamped the pedestal now I sped up the coloring really fast and so um, just to get it in there with macaroons the center parts are really dark and then the top parts are real light crust so these are really easy to color in and I'm, I just chose colors that were in that picture that I showed earlier. An orange and then a, a yellow and then a, like a mint color and then a real pretty pink and then a, a lavender too. Nice bright colors. Um, my idea for this card was to make like a, a window scene. I just, I love bakery front windows. Whenever I go out, out of town, I try to hit every bakery I can just because I, I love the, the sense of a bakery, so I'm going to kind of make a bakery scene window. Now I'm going to cut out all my images that I colored in and set those aside and I'm going to work on the card base. Um, I took a piece of gray cardstock for my stash and um, I have this window die and I, it came from a, a My Monthly Hero kit a while back and I just love it love this window that it cuts out so I decided to use that and then I am going to put a piece of acetate behind it um, basically I'm going to make a shaker card without the shaker <laughs> um, I grabbed some Bristol Smooth um, cardstock here well at least I thought I grabbed it I don't think I think it got mixed up in my pile because or maybe it was the inks but the, it just didn't blend very well for me but I'm blending some ink colors that I have. The first color is Cup of Joe. And then um, I'm going to go in on top of that with the green fields. These are Hero Hues ink cubes. And um, I wasn't really too concerned about the blending, you know, with it being blotchy or anything because it was going to be kind of a subtle background. Now I'm taking the cornflower and I wanted to create kind of like a little clouds in the background and so um, I'm just basically blotching it on the back there on the white area and I, I just wanted to set something to put behind the window just for a little visual scene so um, this part was really easy I mean it doesn't look like much but when you put it behind the window it turned out real pretty <laughs> Okay, now I'm taking my window and I wanted to add a little bit of um, distressing to it. So I just used the ink cube that I had on my desk and it was soft granite and I went around the edges of my window frame with that. Okay, my frame's done and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my, my tape runner and just put um, adhere that acetate to my window. My little uh, macaroons are going to be sitting in front of the window so the acetate will help um, level it, I guess you could say. Okay, got that done. I'm just going to pop that up with some foam tape. And then um, I should have measured it first, but I didn't, so I'm just going to flip it over and use my pencil to kind of use it, make a little guide to where to cut it out. And I'm just going to take my scissors and cut that out and place it right behind the window. Lovely. There's my little window. Now for my card base, I decided 
You know, you know what? Um, I went, yeah, I went through my stash and I found um, like a, it's almost like a brick kind of a rock kind of a embossing folder. So I ran my card base, the top part of it, through my die cut machine just to have a little bit of texture on the background. Okay, now I'm adding my glue runner to it, but then um, I'm taking my um, my paper piercer and I'm going to punch a hole in the very top of my frame because I want to make like a little hanging window sign and so I'm adding a little a brad that I had for my stash. It's a silver um, outline that has a little pink center. And then I'm taking my sentiment that I had cut out earlier and then I'm adding some black twine to the back of it. Instead of taping it, I'm just using some um, foam adhesive, kind of measuring how long I want that string. Lovely. I want to trim off the end there and then I want to attach it to the brad as if it's kind of hanging off the, the window. I thought that just was a cute little effect. Okay. Now I have my little sentiment. Now I'm going to adhere that to my card base. Lovely. And then now I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, build my little sweet plate here. So I took the pedestal and adhered that to the bottom corner. And now I'm going to um, just arrange my macaroons on top of that um, pedestal. Kind of wonky, like they're just kind of um, shifting a little bit. And I chose the background colors to be a little bit subtle because I wanted my macaroons just to pop by one of them to really stand out with the real pretty bright colors. And I colored in um, six of the macaroons, but I only wanted to put, ended up putting five on my card front here. And so I had one more and I thought, you know, I'm just going to add it to the inside of the card. It'd be a nice little accent to the inside of the card. So I'm just going to stick it down there with my tape runner. Lovely. Now as I was looking at this, um, I thought I need some shine. So I'm using glossy accents and I'm going over my macaroons. And then I have this chunky glitter. Um, I think I got it from my, uh, the my favorite thing store. I'm not sure where I got this. If I find it, I'll include the link. But um, I'm just adding it on top of the glossy accent so when it dries, it dries real shiny and shimmery. And I'm putting it all over at the top of my macaroons. Lovely, kind of shaking off the excess there. And then um, I think my little sweet plate here needs to be grounded a little bit. So I have a piece of craft cardstock and I'm just trimming it out a little bit, kind of at an angle as if it were like a table. And um, I wanted to add a little bit more accent to it, so I grabbed some Vintage Photo Distress Ink and I just distressed the edges of that. Just to make it more like a woodsy kind of a table. And then once I have that done, I'm just going to secure it to the bottom of my card base here. I'm just going to tuck it right underneath that pedestal. When I scored my card base, I kind of didn't score it exactly how, how I wanted it, so I trimmed it down a little bit. I'll trim off the excess here. And that's it, guys. Such an easy card, but it's a fun card. It's a nice little, little card to give to somebody. Thank you so much for stopping by for my Try It Out Tuesday series. I wish you a very happy rest of the day. And if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button for more. At the end here, there's two more videos on my Try It Out Tuesday series if you want to check those out. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.